Facebook, the hip new social media platform that everybody's talking about. But what lies beneath the surface is something sinister and really unfair. I, I just, I don't know why. This is The Washes on the Wall, the true story of Washi Jastrofield's fight for freedom on Facebook. Washi Jastrofield, just a man with a deep love for technology. Some would say he's a regular Joe, just another young tech-savvy entrepreneur trying to make it in a new world. Some would even say he had been a success until he started using Facebook. I recently uh, heard about this thing called Facebook and made a page, made a profile, all this. It began like any other day, except this day, Washi discovered he couldn't log into Facebook. I tried to log on to my Facebook and it said, your account's been disabled. The page for Washi's world had also been removed, removing with it all sources of happiness and validation. Er Earl might have some interesting takes on, you know, this as well. Um, Cause he was here when I discovered it and honestly, you know, I was heated. I was, I was pretty angry. Um, they took the page down and they said no. And we were like, oh. I just felt so helpless and I, just like I've been singled out for, you know, reviewing technology. It felt like I was just being persecuted for no reason. The loss of the show page was devastating. But instead of getting bitter, Washi took action. Through a friend, Washi was able to restore all episodes of Washi's world on the Facebook. Then, Washi tried to create a new personal account and was immediately flagged again. Angry, confused, and uncomfortably warm, Washi decided he wasn't going to take this lying down. Oh, I started a campaign, uh, basically to get my profile back. The campaign against Facebook had begun. While the details remain a little unclear, one thing is for certain. Facebook messed up and the people revolted. You know, the people, I knew that they wouldn't like this. They were angry. They were angry. Within a week, Washi had discovered his request to be reinstated had been heard. I, again, I just one day went online and all of a sudden my profile was back. So folks, uh, we did it. We won and it worked. And Mark Zuckerberg, I hate you. Washi's victory is really a victory for the world. For it sends a message to greedy corporations everywhere. And that message is, fix your own idiot problems before you decide to take down my web show for no reason. Gosh dang you. I just, um, I just, I'm so happy this turned out the way it did because, uh, now I can get back to reviewing technology and reaching the folks, you know? Is there anything you'd like to say to the people over at Facebook? What, what do you have against me, Facebook? I'm looking at you, Mark. I'm looking at you. This has been The Washes on the Wall, the true story of Washi Jastrofield's fight for freedom on Facebook. I will be here forever. <laughs>